Hello everyone, I'm Greg Look. thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 53 of Factorio with the C-Block mod, where we are trying to make a new uh, ore production setup, <clears throat> because we wanted something a little bit more, well, productive than this stuff, and yeah, we're just trying to make something that makes four times as much, hopefully in a little bit less space, but... If nothing else, it's just gonna be a little longer. At least that's the hope. We are still waiting to find out, I guess. And some of the last stuff we did last in the last episode was to move this in between these two other setups. And I think with doing that, we would want to just turn these machines around so we had have the gases in here because then we will have our uh, purified water out here and that's easier to get past these machines then. So let's do that. Might be there, but there instead and power in there as well. We can just take that one, I guess. So that is what we want instead, and these will, of course, also be turned around. And again, this is not the final placement, it's just for us to see how everything goes together and how large stuff becomes. So this part easy, we can get it past with underground pipes here. And nothing needs to go beyond this point. We do need still some flare stacking of the gases, but but that's fine. Sure. That should be better. And we're okay with this. This should be the full liquefying setup. Of course, this should probably also include the belts. So we need to get gas into this, and we need to get this onwards. Do we want to turn this around as well? To have the sulfuric acid on the outside? Because, well, I'm not sure how that would be better necessarily. So the question is what comes next, if it's the filtration or this processing of the sulfuric wastewater. If we process the sulfuric wastewater next, we should probably keep this on the inside, because then we're close to whatever where we need the sulfuric acid from. But if we want to get the sulfuric acid past another setup, we need it on the outside is the thought at least. But when we do the filtration, then we would probably want the crystallizing close by as well. At least, at least that seems like the ideal idea. So I think we want the wastewater stuff here. Which means we want this to get past it, so we need to turn it around again. <coughs> Do like that. And we can expand this if we want to. So we don't want this part, because we actually have enough purified water in the system. At least if we do this stuff. So we just want the sulfuric wastewater handling. And yeah, question becomes if we want it uh, in a mirrored setup like the other stuff. But then this becomes quite a lot wider. Maybe we can do something like that instead. 
We just need two machines. So it's worth considering if we just put this in one line instead and keep it within the footprint of the other machines. Also, this doesn't need to be underground pipe anymore. So we need the wastewater in here, and that comes from the right, at least how we're doing it at the moment. This needs to go past it. We get the wastewater in. Wait, we don't even get the sulfuric acid from this, so we should probably start from this instead. So we need two of these. And they will end up producing our sulfuric acid. Well, we should really connect them here, because again, we're going to move everything in around later. We need this in. We need to get this in from back here, so that should line up with an underground pipe here. And then we need to get this past everything, so that's still gonna be a little bit wider. But it lines up with this nicely, actually, so that's good. <coughs> we do need the oxygen back here as well, though. That's a little bit annoying. So that goes past like that somehow. This comes from there. And then we need the oxygen going past as well. So yeah, we would need another one out here, which is annoying. Maybe we end up putting it under some machines instead or something like that. That's a possibility at least, but let's just consider how we move on from here and how we power this. Because this doesn't really have to be exactly here. Just move it in. Like that. But we still need this to come in past this stuff. We can't go all the way under this right now. At least not with stone. Are there different lengths of this? Max length 11, 11, 15? So this is 3 each, so that's just 12. Plus 2 is 14, so that should be possible with steel pipe at least, if we want to do something like that. But let's just consider this a little bit more first. This comes past right next to this still, in my current vision at least. But the oxygen needs to come as well. So we do need something like that, or we could try undergrounding in here. But then we might as well just have this here. And then we have two of these in here now, and that lines up with this, so that's good so far. We don't really need to do anything special with undergrounding under this then. Of course, the water then needs to come from here instead. And we'll figure out where this is in a bit. Oh, 
Next step is the sulfur sulfur dioxide. And that takes what? That takes the oxygen. Mm, well, let's just get this down with the recipe so we can see it a little bit better. Oxygen in, this stuff out. I mean... Couldn't we just do that? Get the oxygen in here. Because that's coming right there anyway. And then directly feed. Over here it becomes a little bit different of course. Something like that. Also, we need to make sure that this can actually move onwards from here, but we shall figure that out in a bit. This comes right there, yes. So we didn't even move this in, actually. I think that was the plan. So like that, yeah, that matches. This goes down. Is that a little bit better? Well, we still need to go under this, of course, but that's fine. Let's just make these so we can try to keep an idea about where everything is supposed to go. So, I would rather have this, I guess, as short a pipe as possible. But then... This looks a little bit more like this down here. Seems a little bit more orderly. Which, of course, we all know is the most important thing in the world. Something like that. I think I like that. Uh, we were trying to keep blueprints of everything down here. And we should probably put the updated stuff down. Just in case we remove something at some point. Oh, goes instead of this, of course. Good. And this stuff. So far, this is good at least. We might rework this later, because this isn't the prettiest in the world. And we could probably figure something out that is, well, both more effective and a little bit prettier. But for now, let's just keep it. And we need the sulfur to go in here. And that is a little bit difficult over here, I guess. But that comes from this. So we need the sulfur, sulfuric wastewater in here. And if we want two setups, we would need something like that. Then we get mineralized water out. That just goes away into a clarifier. This, does that need to go on? Yeah, we need it at filtration units. And we need it in here. No, we don't. We don't need it in here. We get it out from here, of course. And were we getting more than we needed? We need 200 and what? That becomes 195 plus 30, so that's 225. Uh, and that's what we're producing here. So yeah, and we could produce more if we needed to. Okay, so we do have all of the water. We just need to bring it on. 
And it seems like these two need to switch place, because then if this was water, it could just go on like that. I'm not too happy about this though. Or am I? We can just get it in there. Could also... Again, the... We always have the back of pain of just putting these two in a row, something like this, to save space, but... If we can find a way to keep these within the same footprint and... Take up less space, that would be awesome, of course. So we could try doing something like that. We get the sulfuric wastewater in from over here anyway. We would then need the water. Well, some of the water to come in here. Uh, the purified water, I mean. Something like that. And we wanted to get rid of this. Could just put a clarifier in between here, I guess. We don't need two of them anyway, I don't think, at least. We can only make 20 per second times two, so 40 per second. We need that machine somewhere anyway. If we did this, it would fit on top of it. If we do this, it would fit in between the machines. So what would we rather do? That is probably going to be the most space efficient. If we then move... No, we have to get it up there as well. Dang it. Can't fit it in between those. So we can't really do this. We could do this, of course. We need that space anyway. Something like that. It's a possibility, at least. And again, we could still just rotate it if we want to. But this is easy to get the water into. This might become a little bit... Well, it can get under like that. If we wanted to just optimize this a little bit. We can get as close as there, or we could try moving down, but that makes stuff worse, I think. Or maybe not. So we could save one tile. If we then rotated this, we could not... We would use one tile more. Unless we tried to move the clarifier, then we could do it with the same space as we're currently using. So this is probably some of the more efficient stuff, but it's, well, it all depends on this setup, of course. But for now, I'm just leaving this. Apparently, I'm not very creative with my solutions at the moment. Well, that needs to go under there, but this also needs to go under up here. That's a little bit worse. Of course, this... Well, then we lose a tile if we do this. But still move it in if we wanted to move everything. So if we are going with this setup, this is fine still. And these can go under somewhere now. So Yeah, we just need to figure out if we want to go with all of this. I just want to see how it looks with the rest of the stuff with sulfuric wastewater. Because this part should be easy to get the mineral sludge into the crystallizers. I think. 
Okay, so. Let's just move on. We now need filtration units and we need this stuff for it. So that is so far at least coming around here. Uh, aligned right yep now we're gonna figure out if we actually need to move this pipe we do need the filters in and out of this as well we need purified water here as well that's fine we have it right here so next to this if this is the correct no we need to go the other way around like that Let's just mirror this in case. I think we're gonna need, well, we might need to move this at some point. We need to move all this down now though. Cause this is not ideal. We need space for the belts for filters as well. Mm, that sucks a little bit. Cause now this uses more space than everything else. We could of course do something like that, but then it becomes asymmetrical because we can't, we have one pipe in the middle of everything. Wait, no, that's not possible. Wait, what? No, we need to turn it around. That's why I'm confused. We could not do that. We could do that. Or this. But then we need space for the belt. Oh Christ, why am I having such a hard time with this part? Because it's probably the worst part. Where we need four pipes and two belts. Sure sounds worse than everything else. We could of course again put it in a line and that might end up being what we're doing because well it's just one tile so far. But then with a belt it becomes two tiles. We don't need two belts, but for symmetry I think that is what I'm doing. Hmm. Maybe that's better. It would handle more insertions, but I think we're gonna be fine. Over here. Yeah, this would be quite wide. I think we're just gonna put those 10 machines in a row to save some width or some height or whatever you want to call it. We can't do something that fixes this right. Also this is a little bit annoying with the inputs but it would also be annoying if we put everything in a row I think. Tough choice. And we couldn't make it entirely symmetrical with this. We would have to choose either going one tile above the middle or below. Mm -hmm. Style, my worst enemy. Two tiles. It is annoying because this part is going to be long as this stuff up here and we're just wasting all this space and that's what I'm trying to avoid. Of course, if we just make this a lot narrower, then we are wasting a lot of space here instead, but 
is only 10 machines wide, whereas this would be 35 machines. I think I can't do this. There's no way to just push it closer together, right? Could we do anything with underground belts? We probably could. And maybe some space in between the buildings. Then we could output there. Input up here. That would actually help a lot. Let's just explore that idea. We will figure the power out later. We can just do that. So coming in like that. Then we can move this in one tile. Purified water is here, right? And this is one tile further in. So that needs to be moved. We don't need the oxygen after this point, right? No. That's possible. And let's just remove that. And we could even try to squish it more together if we just share a pipe with the sulfuric waste water. Then it's a little bit less symmetrical. Yeah, then we're back to the thing with one shared tile in the middle of the setup. Instead of having two middle parts. I would like to be able to keep or pull both of them in one tile, but that's... Is it possible? I don't think so. If we lined these up with each other, this wouldn't line up with the next setup, right? Get this done, please. And let's just have a test over here without robots. So I would want something like... What would I want? Something like this? No. I want this to go together with that, I guess. And of course we can... Made a little bit different on this side. So... What? It's one part. Let's give it a little bit more space here. I basically want this. But then I want those to go together. And I guess that could work, but then how are we going to get both inputs and outputs from the belts? But maybe do this if we have power somewhere. But we don't, well, maybe. Input, output.
that could work. And well, I'm really just doing this to try and fit everything together with how the pipes are already aligned, but we can just fix that. This could just go out here instead. So purified water comes there and this is the other stuff and then we switch those around. And honestly this looks like a mess, doesn't it? Yeah, because we need space here. We don't have that space. So let's not do this. Too much of a mess. We're doing this and switching the pipes. Are we sure we don't need more oxygen anywhere? Pretty sure. Let's just check the fluids going onwards here. We get oxygen and hydrogen here. We are using that right here for purified water and we need to flare stack any extras. So we need a overflow valve for those. Maybe we're just putting that at the end here, I'm not sure. Then this goes in to underground pipes, reaches this, same up here. And extra oxygen. We have enough, yes we have plenty of oxygen. Okay. So oxygen goes from here down here, I guess, or somewhere else, but yeah, we need to transfer that down, of course, and then it gets into there, and that is the last time we need it on this setup. I did add it to a fluid bus with some of these setups, but... It's so easy to just produce more somewhere if we actually need a lot on the bus. So yeah, let's not keep that in mind right now. So fluids seem to be good after this. The water needs to go on and go in there and we need to switch these around. Because that needs to be in there. Unless we want to move them both out one time. Maybe that looks a little bit better. So this comes in here. But we could just move it out one tile. Move that out one tile. Do that. No, we need this to come in here. That's tough. Then we would at least need this to go past, but that just uses more space. Let's just go with the first one. Something like that. Sure. And on the other side, we might have to do it the other way around. Where does this come? Comes from here. Where's water coming? Right here. So yeah, these need to be switched like they are on the other side as well, so that's fine. Can we just redesign this to work? Also, this needs to go there, of course. So that is on the outside and on the outside. This should be good. So, and we are expecting to have these in between, so inputs coming in like that. Out 
not good going out like that. That can reach, and this can reach. And this needs to go the other way, obviously. Let's call this output. And it's not supposed to have belt, it's just supposed to be all underground. And yeah, this needed to go up here, of course. I guess we could just put it over here, that just busts a little bit more underground belt. Or we could just have that extra power pool, I guess. Something like that. And at the end here we will just put a belt here, I guess. And again, actually it doesn't need to be fully efficient, so we can go from a long to a short. If we want to. Powered, powered. Good. I think I like this setup. If we can't mirror that, no. We should probably design it as up here as well. Input on this side. And of course that becomes more difficult up there. I guess we're doing this. Also, why are we doing it like this? Why not just in, out? Or the other way around, I guess, because this is going out already. That's easy to power and everything. And something similar should be possible up here. Just with an offset on the builds. to go under there. And we need to be able to reach this. So that goes there. That's still good. So... Out. In. I think this should work. Let's copy that over here. Should get the full setup now. Mm, yes, that we can just paste onwards. Did we need to bring any fluids past this? We didn't, right? Other than, of course, these, but those are going all the way. I hope not. That is the last use of purified water. Also, we actually need to be able to... No, we don't need to be able to get rid of purified water. We do need this to be prioritized though, so we should only have a top-up valve after this. Because this can't be backed up, then everything stops. I think I like this better than having 10 machines straight up against each other, but using up more space anyway. And it's not bad with the pipes, I can live with that. It looks a little bit busy, but don't care. 
Oh yeah, then we need to take care of the filters in here, I guess, and get the uh, sludge thing, mineral sludge, past that. So that's the next step. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.